Okay, and um, he's just taking notes because I can't be in the kiosk all the time, so I can't explain um, my work all the time. So I got a calamero, and he's just listening carefully and just like noting it down. So um, maybe like come closer because then I don't have to like be so shouting and things because it's like quite delicate piece and stuff. Um, <laughs> So, basically, I'm, uh, like, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing um, a Sony bathrobe. I got a really, uh, like, loads of um, money for, for making this, it's, and I wanted this for ages, and I couldn't buy it, and now I bought it, and, uh, and now I have to also use it. So, the thing is, okay, what I saw, why I get it, um, I'm a cuttlefish, okay? So um, the thing is, the cuttlefish is um, like, okay, I call it, but like an egg is potential, uh, the egg holds the, the egg is the now that holds the past for the future or something, is like some quote or something, and, um, and the cuttlefish is, I think, the first virtual animal because it's got a W for an I, and this is true, you can look this up. They've got W eyes, and if you think, because I do yoga and everything, I'm very, like, getting quite spiritual, and I think if there's like a third eye, so it's like WWW. And um, also, the cuttlefish has got loads and loads and loads of DPI on its skin, it's got 370 DPI, and like these images actually have 300, because that's only actually the high res image. So the cuttlefish is like, yeah, like loads better than anything. Um, but then I also saw, <laughs> and Kylie obviously, and you can't really see her, but she's also um, a cuttlefish and also a prehistoric messenger from the future because she made this video 10 years ago and it's like, she's an artist because this is like more contemporary than you can possibly get. Like all the tropes of the art world and stuff, the towels, the flannery, 10 years ago, you think about that. Um, but also, the cuttlefish is also something else, uh, which I want to say, which I want to get at. Um, just like this, um, it's also the cuttlefish. And, and, okay, and the reason why, let's say, I'm making art that looks like loads of other people's art, is because I, I want to camouflage, and, um, and also I want to be cuddled, like I want to be liked and, and also then ultimately loved. And, um, Oh, okay, this is an aside, but how I just came in, this is called an egg dance. And it's like from the Middle Ages, um, where if you were in love and you wanted to marry a woman, you had to dance with her, um, like at the drunken ball thing, and um, dance in a circle full of eggs. And if you didn't smash any eggs, then you could marry. <laughs> and it looked like that, but anyway, but what was I saying? Fish. Oh, I, yeah, that basically I make work that looks like also loads of other work because um, I, I, I want to I want to be loved and um, the thing is I thought okay so these Nike things that so also I wanted to buy these Nikes and they're like 220 francs um, but they also fit with the egg um, so I could use them for an installation also and also I thought it's like half a heart shape which you can see which is about left there, which is really cool but then and also like this is like the what I'm wearing, the Sony towel thing. Um, and so now I'm sort of part of the, but I'm like quite um, camouflaged. Um, um, and I also, I thought, because then when there's Art Basel, there's gonna be loads of important people here. And I have to make like another performance and they actually like come and see this. Um, and it makes an impact. So I, I ordered some custom ID Nike shoes, which can't be here right now with us because it takes them five weeks to make it. So, and, and but those shoes say on one shoe it says on, and on the other shoe it says line. So it's like on line. Um, and, and, but, but that's not all because the, there's a thing. There's like graffiti here, 
and there's also a thing called shoe tea. And the shoe feet tea happens like in urban areas, and it's like when people take shoes and throw them up, so online. So throw up online, like which is kind of like what you can never do, you know, like you can be sick, but then there's the screen that protects like all your friends from your actual sick. But, but the, then the idea was that all these important people can give me their shoes and they can get a new pair of shoes that says online, but they throw up their shoe. So then afterwards you have loads of cool people walking around the world saying online and then somebody will come and say, why does it say online? And they say, huh, yeah, because my shoes are um, online in Basel. <laughs> Uh, and it's like then I thought it's like one line, like a one liner, but it's still like, you know, it's like if, if it works, it works. And like, no publicity is bad publicity. And if they like walk around and sort of, you know, with, then hopefully people say whose work is it, and then they say so for you, and then, you know, maybe it helps. But anyway, um, there's like also, so I but the shoes and they fit like the colors of the egg and that, which is interesting because um, Deleuze talks about the egg and the potential of the body without organ and blah 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 and it's all the egg and the domain and the egg. And the thing is, um, he also, which I find very interesting, talks about um, animals being artists uh, because, so there's a bird called the stage maker bird and he makes himself a stage and there's leaves that fall from the tree and he and they look the same as the color of the ground and that bird turns them around and makes himself a stage hops on it and then starts to sing and you know tries to get like a woman bird to come and like mate with him but 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 he also makes a stage and the, the cool thing is that what can be productive and necessary and you know to look in on one hand is also to all the other animals who don't hear the call, don't understand what he's doing, it's just beautiful. And um, I might be wrong, maybe I am wrong, but there's Messalem, who noted down the, the song of the bird. And Messalem and Missoni is not so different, and it's a bit like, also like this notation of bird song. It didn't mean anything to him, it's just art. He just took something that was used for something else, made it art. And then I thought about kitsch, like art and kitsch, and then I thought how there's also a thing called egg shoeing, which is eggs that, um, so this is done uh, by blacksmiths since the Middle Ages, where the best blacksmiths, smith, like they have a test, and the one that can fit most horseshoes on an egg wins. But then why would you even like make horseshoes that small? Because there is no horse that is that small. This is completely senseless. Like I would say, I got these shoes to make art, but also so that I then have shoes. So if I just chose something out of them, so basically that means the egg egg shoeing quite things. But um just uh, another thing, another link, which is uh, which is interesting, um which is that I made these eggs with Play-Doh, okay? And Play-Doh, think about it. Oh, there's a story about Play-Doh also, which is, okay, Missoni, the Angela Missoni, the wife of um, the Missoni man, um, she, her family was into tapestry, her husband was into, uh, they made wo woolly tracksuits, imagine that, but Missoni, Angela, she, her family made um, tapestry designs, and they used, um, um, a glue um, that was that was also in the 50s then used in primary schools to make little models and that <coughs> glue is what we now know as play-doh because they realized that oh if kids make it at school this we can market it as a, as a, a play-doh much better than just a wallpaper thing so they marketed it as something completely different to the original idea and <coughs> sold it like you know, still like clearly um, and and but Play-Doh is also Plato. Play-Doh. <laughs> no, but this is not even my working, because if you go to Wikipedia it says, and you go Play-Doh, they say for ambiguation, go Plato. Plato. I said, yeah, okay, but I know how to write it, but it doesn't matter. It, it made me think of <coughs> a, a paradox, Plato's paradox, which is what came first, chicken or the egg? Well, it's not a paradox anymore, because we know through genetics that it, it was the egg because the egg holds all the potential. The egg has to be come first. And um, which is good because if it would have been the chicken, maybe it would have had the chickens, which is like online, online. Um, let me 
let me think this um, um because there's also I'm gonna say something about the um, another thing with eggs and, and the cuttlefish are they connected because they're cool. this is like really really ridiculous but true there is a cuttlefish which also make, makes me think of tiny loads it's called the flamboyant cuttlefish yeah and it's like the most colorful animal in the kingdom of the animals um and oh yeah and cuttlefish have three hearts but anyway and um, and, the, and he just parades on the bottom of the ocean because he can't even swim anymore he's like so tiny and he can't swim and like talking of like genetics and things and, and the world and stuff he should not even live anymore because he's got no defense mechanism. He can't even swim away. <coughs> but then they found out that he's the most poisonous thing in the world. So color signifies also poison. But then, like I said, I this is actually confusing because I, like I said, I'm a cuttlefish, so no poison. Um, but then also I'm not tiny. But I walk. But anyway, but now I'm quite tall. Um, I, um, there's also, I practiced it, but I can't show it to you now because it's, it's, oh yeah, I would say, okay, this is like, I broke the proscenium, which literally I did because this is the proscenium and if talking to you is like the apron proscenium, so I broke it, but Calimero also broke it, but I also broke it when I put my forks into the eggs to make the egg dance, like Charlie Chaplin's Oceana Roll. If you don't know it, you should Google Gold Rush. It's all about like monetary happiness, uh, you know, happiness through monetary um, 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 success, which, you know, this is also like a bit about and stuff. But anyway, um, you, should, you should look that up because um, he, um, th this is a little homage to him, the licorice, because he works in an interesting manner, which I can relate to. He just thinks and thinks. And but he's he was very rich and had loads of like production companies behind him and so he would get them all on place to shoot and then just sit down and think and and then like write a bit of a script and then think and write a bit of music and he did everything himself. But then he also reshot the scenes again and again and again. Um and then the, there is the bread bread there is like a scene where the shoe becomes food because they're so hungry they eat the shoe and there's a scene where the food becomes the shoe when he does the dance but anyway you're not going to see this now but um the eating the, the shoe that was made out of licorice and um that that guy it looks really grumpy when he eats the shoe because he's clearly very hungry but he actually this is not even a game he doesn't even act um so because he was so because he, he was constipated because he had to eat licorice 176 times they had to shoot the scene he was eating licorice <laughs> he couldn't even deal with it anymore um well, that was relevant but then, uh, <laughs> um, um, yeah Ha, 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 ha.